Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video to the extended EC 30 day uh, forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe today. So uh, this, as always on Tuesday, is your uh, month ahead or six week look ahead for uh, Europe. I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video really says our 6 day UK weather forecast. And it's a 14 day with all of regular features coming up to later on this afternoon as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. The Gals Weather Vix, thank you so much, everyone. And thanks to GCMWF.int for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much, GC. <coughs> okay, we're going to start off with... So sorry, everybody. We're going to start off with the uh, week one. Mean cell pressure anomaly taking us through this week, the 8th through the 15th of April. So high pressure from the Azores is going to be building into western and southwestern parts of Europe and also over to East Europe as well. We have got low pressure in the North Atlantic heading in towards northern parts of Europe and quite a strong westy jet stream coming through as well. 500 millibar heights look like this with below average heights in the uh, northern Atlantic. Above average heights, high pressure covering many parts of Europe though. So a lot of dry uh, conditions to come. And again, winds are from the southwest with quite a strong jet stream as well. So, significantly uh, milder than average week to come. You can see that by the dark red colours there. So, uh, very substantially above average temperatures, particularly around here, which is kind of eastern Germany, right way to western parts of Russia. There we see temperature anomalies of like 6 to 10 degrees above normal, but elsewhere widely 3 to 6 degrees above normal, all the way from Ireland. UK, France, Spain, Portugal, and West, right way up to Black Sea in the east, and even into the far north of Europe, where it has been quite a cold winter and into spring uh, above average temperatures. But in fact, all parts of Europe really have above average temperatures this week. You've got to go down to North Africa, down here, and up to the Arctic Circle, Arctic Russia, I suppose, uh, just there. And of course, we've got Greenland and Iceland. Uh, colder than average as well. In fact, some parts of Greenland, like 6 to 10 degrees below average. Very cold there. Temptation wise, it's looking like this. So, uh, we still have dry weather through many parts of Europe, actually, right away from southeastern England all the way down to uh, the Mediterranean. A little bit patchier through France, but there is a bit of variation, but to generally even there, a little bit on the drier side. But overall, significantly dry, but average Spain, Portugal, most parts of the Meg coming out dry. Uh, the Balkans and eastern parts of Europe and the eastern Meg coming out drier than average as well. The exceptions in the far north and uh, northwest up here. So we've got uh, Scandinavia and Nordic regions as well as Ireland and northern parts of Britain coming out with. Uh, above average rainfall free there. So obviously that's where the jet stream taking the areas of low pressure into and then and then otherwise high pressure covering most parts of Europe and lots of dry weather with it. Week two will be the 15th to 22nd of April. So uh, this one finds again high pressure to our uh, west and southwest. Low pressure is to our north and northeast. The temperature um, well wind direction I should say <laughs> I want to talk about yeah. Wind direction is coming from uh, the northwest there potentially. 500 millibar heights look like that. So yes, there's a trough of low pressure over northern and western parts of Europe with high pressure out in the Atlantic. That would send the wind flow and jet stream on the northwest to southeast alignment. Tension on are cooling down quite substantially. Big flip around from week one to week two. Actually going cold average across many parts of Europe. Was not expecting that. Um, I don't look at these charts before I do the, uh, before I do the video, you know, so I don't check it about see what they're going to show. I like to be surprised with all of you, you know, you get the reaction from me. Uh, and that is quite a shock, isn't it, from week one to week two. So we see cold average uh, temperature and knowledge back into Scandinavia and Nordic regions, including the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania. And then we come down in towards the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and into Germany and Poland. And there we see below average temperature anomalies as well. Ireland and the UK and many parts of France are cooling down close to average. Might be colder than average there 
in reality. Eastern France actually a little bit cold and average. Much of the Med hang on to be above average temperatures and southern parts of Spain still 3 to 6 degrees above normal. But overall this is a substantial and significant cool down that we're seeing there across many parts of Europe. And what about precipitation? Uh, well, we see above average precipitation across uh, particularly central and eastern parts of Europe, actually. So looking really unsettled through there. Ukraine up into uh, Belarus and Russia, for example, looking uh, very wet through there. And then back in West, was into Germany and Poland and also below countries above average uh, rainfall or precipitation through there. Now, for the far west and southwest of Europe, it's drier. So uh, Spain, Portugal driving average, much of France driving average. And Ireland and parts of southwestern England coming out driving average too. The eastern Med looks rather wet. Germany and Poland, uh, what I'm talking about, Greece and Turkey. <laughs> Could be. Uh, I placed Germany and Poland into the eastern Mediterranean. That's a surprise to them, isn't it? Um, <laughs> no, Greece and Turkey. It's like Germany, Poland, Greece, Turkey, you know. <laughs> Rolls up the tongue. Um, no, uh, Greece and Turkey coming out with above average rainfall. Yeah, I was off school the day they taught geography. That's the thing. Um, week three. <laughs> will be the 22nd, 29th of April. Oh, never changed. So high pressure then starts coming back across much of Europe, actually. So that shot of low soon gone. And we're back into higher pressure conditions again in many areas. 500 millibar heights look like that. A large ridge. Look at that massive ridge covering not so much of Europe, but out into the Atlantic as well. Goodness gracious me. We're going down on the high pressure there. Uh, so, temperature noise will lift back up again. Most areas are going back to above average temperatures. We just find the extreme north and northeast of Europe closer to normal or a little bit on the cool side. But most areas with above average temperatures. And uh, precipitation wise, week three, largely dry. And average. It's a week in the because we're three weeks out. But much of southern southeast Europe looks dry as does parts of the north and the west. I think there's a warming and drying train going on there for the final week of April. Week four will be the 29th of April to the 6th of May. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. So high pressure men is in over Scandinavia. Around that, we'll probably be bringing in an easterly flow. There could be some lower pressure down across southern parts of Europe. 500 millibar heights again with an area of above average heights over and to the east of the country. So you'll think that's going to bring mainly dry and warm weather. We see the temperature only largely above average except for like uh, Norway and also Sweden and Finland. There it's a little bit cooler but elsewhere above average temperatures still being realised. <coughs> so sorry once more everybody and not much of a seal for precipitation but it could be a little bit on the dry side in the extreme northern part of Europe close to that area of high pressure over Scandinavia right so that's your 30 day look ahead done but let's go through weeks 5 and 6 data before we go because why not charts there so might as well have a look might we so week 5 will be the 6th through to 13th of May uh, high pressure begins to retreat a little bit back towards eastern parts of Europe otherwise not much of a signal, 500 millibar heights. Oh, well, that shows uh, more high pressure, though, through uh, northern and western parts of Europe, through here. So, that should bring quite a bit of dry and warm weather for the early part of May there, I would have thought. Uh, week 5 temperature on, again, it's above average quite widely across most parts of Europe, and as far as Again, not much of a signal. And then lastly, week 6 will be the 13th to the 20th of May. No signal means cell pressure anomaly. Uh, still indicating a bit of high pressure across Western Europe. So could this be a flip here into much drier weather through Western Europe into May? Might be. And as far as uh, temperature, not as you can tell, again, it's above average, particularly so through the western side of Europe, in that area of high pressure. That could be proper summer light weather, actually. And again, not much of a signal, though, for precipitation. Uh, right, OK, so it looks like I've got a bit of a changeable start to the period anyway. Very, very mild, if not warm this week. Much cold next week. 
and also unsettled, but then we're into high pressure through the rest of April and into May. In fact, we might start going into a summer-like pattern across uh, western and northern Europe if that high pressure really beds in and gets going. Could bring a warm and dry, certainly first half to May. We shall see. If you enjoy the forecast, please like, share, subscribe, and show everyone to do that. Which is a snapshot of what Molly is showing, so it could look completely different when we look at this again next Tuesday for the European, say European outlook, and on Saturday for a UK and Ireland focus video. We're going to be back a little bit later on. We attend to 14 day, come back for that later for the EC 30 day forecast. For this week, though, that's all for now, and thanks so much.